Hello. In this video, we're going to learn how to play background audio across all these scenes. For the purpose of this example, I have created an example. Let's start the application. If I click the cube, it will go to scene 2, scene 3, scene 1. So it's a simple application. I am just navigating scenes. What we want to achieve is we want to play the background audio file continuously across all the scene. Let's add the audio file. Here's our audio file. Background sound. Let's add this in all other scenes. Let's play the application. As you can see, the problem is whenever I'm navigating from scene 1 to scene 2 to scene 3, my audio file start from the start. So that's the problem. I want my file to play continuously. Okay, for this, first delete this uh, game object, then delete this game object. I want my file to be on one scene which is the start scene, scene 1. Let's add a script. bg sound script. Open it in Visual Studio. I'm going to copy paste some code. This is the simple code. As you can see, I have assigned a static variable and a static function what is the type of this static variable is bg sound script which is the name of my class what is the return type of this static function is bg sound script which is the name of my class and what this function is returning this function is returning an instance static instance of a bg sound script which is my class why static so that this instance will be the same across all the scenes in my application. Let's come to the awake. Awake is a unity method which is called when the script instance is being loaded. Awake is used to initialize any game variable or game state before the game starts. Awake is called only once during the lifetime of the instance of the script in this method what I'm doing is I'm checking if my instance bg sound script not equal to null and my instance not equal to this means I'm not on the scene one so if my instance not equal to null and my instance not equal to be scene one it will destroy this game object and it will return else it will if the scene is scene 1 it will initialize this instance to the this means this scene but let's see this thing don't destroy on load let's see this method in documentation so what this method does is makes the object target not to be destroyed automatically when loading a new scene when loading a new level, all objects in the scene are destroyed when the objects in the new level are loaded. In order to preserve an object during level loading called don't destroy on load on it. So what we want to achieve is we want to we want to preserve our background's audio file so can we can play it continuously across all the scenes. So let's go in our unity click on the background assign our code file and let's play the application
now as you can see the sound is playing in a background continuously across all the scenes i'll add this uh, script file in the description so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next video